प्रणमामि सदा प्रभु पादुपदम प्रणमामि सदा प्रभु पादुपदम शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम श्री जगत गुरु सेट दैट दोज वर्ड एफर्ड शिव टू हरि भजन दोज वो आर चीटेड बाई माया एंड देर सेंस ऑर्गन बिकॉज देर सेंस ऑर्गन एंड मेटेरियल इंटेलेक्ट मेटेरियल माइंड दैट इज अर ओनली सपोर्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हुई दे ऑलवेज ट्राई टू पास एनी रिमार्क सो दैट काइंड ऑफ पीपल दे कैन ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फाइंड फॉल्ट विथ अदर्स आई मीन फाइंड फॉल्ट विथ वैष्णव वैष्णव छिद्र कारा देखे somebody asking prabhat who going to search out the faults in vaishnavas prabhat speaking those who are aversive to hari bhajan those who are cheated by maya their material sense organ material intellect all material sense organ like eyes ears nose as the only support in their life on the basis of which they try to understand what is good what is bad and they are cheated by maya only that kind of people they always try to search some leakage i mean fault of vaishnavas those who are real vaishnav they never try to find any fault in him those who are acharyas real acharyas their activities their their external activities outside people cannot understand they cannot understand sometime we misunderstand vaishnavas sometime we think vaishnav are giving some indulge indulgence to that man some allegation came in the life of popa hey popa is always giving indulgence to them but whenever we are doing popa become very angry foolish they cannot understand they cannot understand the heart of prabhupada prabhupada bhakti mir thakur never give any indulgence to anybody they can never tolerate any man when going to insult some vaishnavas they cannot tolerate they can never tolerate we can show you they cannot tolerate this is not possible but sometime we think their activities is you know we cannot understand their mood popa given popa appreciating one fallen soul popa popa appreciating one fallen soul popa the full idea is a fallen soul popa they appreciating him <laughs> why to get some positive response of hari bhajan popa told that if my appreciation to somebody going to give me some extra advantage for my gauranga seva i can do it but same popa told par swabhav karmani no prasangsat no gare how you can realize same bamun go se mar told to bharati maharaj in front of i know you wanted to pick wanted to give get answer from me the why bamun go sima speaking you can see but you cannot speak anything you can see dekhi beshun you can hear you can see you can hear but don't speak anything bamun go sima used to say that maharaj sometime it happens so when some devotee give us hot rice we are going to cool it down to cool it down we say phoo, 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 phoo. we are you know doing giving some oxygen i mean so air so that it will cool down but when that rice is already cool down already the rice is is called bengali panta 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 mean the rice was there overnight uh, inside water 
that rice was kept inside water. So already cold. But Bhavan Goswami was to used to say in a joking manner, Maharaj, you know, I am providing air to cool down that pantavate phundiye khai. Foolish people cannot understand. Can you show one single instant when Prabhupada or Kesu Goswami Maharaj or Guru Maharaj, they have done any mistake in Siddhanta or anybody making wrong Siddhanta is not protesting? Or you can show me that some Vishnab, you know, somebody insulting and uh, they are not speaking? Not that. Sometimes they are playing this kind of Leela. That is called extreme Leela. Before leaving material world, when they know the total infrastructure of our society is totally breakdown. If I do something, totally it can collapse and I cannot get, I cannot get any scope to do any seva anymore. That's why. But that is not the Siddhanta of an effective Acharya like Kesuga Simra, Prabhupada, not that. Bound Maharaj also not. Any man doing wrong Siddhanta used to protest. But that case was different because he tried his best whole life. He wanted to rectify the situation. He wanted to show his own ideal behavior, ideal temperament, ideal behavior, ideal seva. But still they are not ready to accept. In that case, finally, Bhakti Vallabh Tittha Goswami Maharaj also told, also told the same, zero, 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 they can get zero. I mean, they can get zero. To stop the background of the total infrastructure, at least I can get some scope to do seva. That's why I don't know. But when our Guru Bhargava going to be insulted by somebody, in that case, Bhaman Goswami never told. Even some wrong, I already told that Maharaj wanted to stop reading one set of book to, of his, to one of his disciples. Wanted to provide a new set of book. You read this book. But directly never told there is wrong Siddhanta in that book. He never told. But we must take the Siddhanta Ivishar of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We must take the Siddhanta picture of our Guru Bhargava, Jiva Goswami Bhatt, who wanted to give fitting answer to Balavacharya, simply because he wanted to edit the book of Rupa Goswami Bhatt, or Samhita Goswami only. So Jiva Goswami wanted to say, what wrong you have seen in the book, so that you wanted to rectify it. So, According to time and situation, we can take a new decision, new decision under the guidance of Prabhupada and Guru Bhargava, but still a new decision, a strategy to establish the absolute truth, to prove that this is wrong and this is right, that we cannot stop. We can go on doing this seva. This is a seva given by Prabhupada. So those who are cheated by their sense organ, material mind and intellect, that is the only property. You can test yourself. When bhakti property is there inside your heart, then you can never depend upon wrong source. People are being cheated all over the world. How we can stop? How we can stop? Whole world are being cheated. Nobody wants to speak about what the Pope are told. Then how we can stop? We will have to speak to them. But in a, okay, in a very different way, we can try, but we can try. Anyway, we can, we cannot stop. Bhagavad Bhakta, if you speak all rubbish to Guru Vishnu, but nothing will go on come go or come. But only by hearing or reading all those things, 
thousands of people can develop Vaishnava Pura. You don't understand, na? Can you give inspiration to one devotee? Can you give inspiration to only one bonded soul to develop sadhya inside them? You cannot. But you can arrange the situation in such a way that the thousands of people followers your society can go to hell. That you can do. You can arrange the situation in such a way so that thousands of people can go to hell. That you can do. But you cannot arrange the situation in such a way so that only one bonded soul can develop sadhya. So how we can stop? How we can stop? How we can stop? It's a very dangerous issue. Somehow we will have to carry out the order of Prabhupada. Somehow we will have to carry out, but in a very tricky way. But we cannot stop. Anyway, how we can bear the thousands of people day after day, life after life, they can get misinformation. How we can bear? How we can bear by watching that they are misguided, misinformed. That is not bhakti. Anyway, we don't like to fear anybody. Bhagavan giving assurance to his devotees, Bhagavan giving assurance in Gita, no me bhakto parashati. Arjun, my devotees can never be destroyed by anybody. They can get destroyed. They can go against pure Guru Vaishnava and they can discover their breakdown. Everything breakdown. All gone. Our vision power, our, our, our darshan power is so poor so dirty that we always find dirty thing everywhere. Everywhere. Even we like to find fault with Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, the Siddhanta, that is our. You try to understand. Sometimes it seems Vaishnavas like to strike, Vaishnavas like to protest, but that is also out of their, that is their doing, but that is all out of their causeless mercy. How as a Vaishnav you can allow one society or, or so many society, so many sannyasis, acharyas, if they are going to mispreach, how you can be here? How you can be here? How you can be here? The whole jivatma, those jivas, jivatmas are being misguided. Can you be here? Cannot be here. That's why Sonatan Goswami wanted to write Biyad Bhagavatam Brito. Sonatan Goswami externally never wanted to fight with Mayavadi. We were devotees. Sonatan Goswami Pad wanted to establish such a Siddhanta books so that under the guidance of pure Guru Vishnu, if we follow, then we can understand the total the total Siddhanta vision, complete Siddhanta vision. What is wrong, what is right. So we can also follow the track of Sanatana Gusai, Prabhupada, we can do. Externally we have no, uh, no desire to fight. We, actually it is not, uh, we are not you know, interested to fight with anybody. We have no desire to, no jealous attitude. But anyway, we'll have to do. This is called actual preaching, to stop people going wrong way. Pope are told many times, it is the duty of Gauri Mart. It is the unpleasant duty of Gauri You forget. I think you forget. It is the unpleasant duty of Gauri Mart to rectify all the situation. People are being misguided. It is the duty of Gauri Mata. Seemingly unpleasant duty of Gauri Mata. It is the seemingly unpleasant duty of Gauri Mata to deliver people from going to hell. To deliver people from the ocean of miseries. I know most of the people cannot understand our mood, but Prabhupada told, today or tomorrow, 
Prabhupada told before leaving his body that today or tomorrow they can realize that I was bound to give them pain. I was bound to give them anxiety just to engage them in unalloyed Hari Bhajan. It is a simply, seemingly unpleasant duty of Goryamat. So you like to throw me out of Goryamat? Or what do you want? Eh? So, all Guru Vaishnav, they are the Parshad of Bhagavan. They are heartbreaking. They cannot bear that people are being misled simply because to avoid fighting. We have no desire to fight. But we have our right to defend ourselves. That we can do. We have our right to defend our Siddhanta Vichar. We have our right to defend our Guru Bhargava, Gauriyama. That we can do. We cannot attack anybody. We can point out, you foolish, you see you are doing mistake. You are doing wrong. You are arranging the situation to go to hell forever. So I have also love for you. How I can tolerate that you can go to hell forever? This kind of Siddhanta Vishar is also good. Not with fighting mood. We can catch their lotus feet like Nityananda. Nityananda Prabhu speaking that you buy me. You buy me. I am sold to you. Even if you throw stone on my head, even if you break my head, if you like to kill me, still up to the last breath of my life, I like to seek Mangau of the whole world. That is the resolution of a pure Vaishnavas that Prabhupada told. So we have no enemy with anybody. Really so. If somebody like to test us, they can test. But we cannot stop our seva. We cannot stop our seva to deliver people from maya. If I need to point out, this is kamsa. This is kamsa. This is kamsa. You think is a maternal uncle of Krishna. Papa speaking, if you are going to honor Kamsa with a mood that he is a, at least is a maternal uncle of Krishna, then you are foolish number one. You are foolish number one. That we cannot do. Raghunath Das Goswami path could realize, but you could not realize. Raghunath Das Goswami could realize this point. So, Raghunath Das Goswami wanted to Clarify this point. What point? Raghunath Das Gosai is saying, if some enemies, we have no enemies. Yudhishthir Maharaj was Ajato Shatru. If you know Bengali and Sanskrit, the meaning Ajato Shatru, you know? Ajato Shatru? Mane, who is having no enemy? Who cannot have any enemy? Who cannot have any enemy anywhere, anyhow? But still there was, still there was enemy of Yudhishthira Maharaj. Bhaman Goswami has told, same thing. We have no enemy, but still they think as enemy. Prabhupada also said, told same thing. Whenever you like to establish a Prakita Siddhanta Vichar, Whole world can go against you and can think you are enemy. For that reason, you can stop your bhajan. What do you mean by do by bhajan? Then you leave me. I can go to Vrindavan and sit in a solitary place and do harina. This is my bhajan. Or to establish Siddhanta is my bhajan. What do you suggest? You all are my father and mother. I am going to obey you, you Vaishnavas. What you suggest me? I am guided by Nityananda. I am guided by Guru Varga. So, Raghunanda Goswami Pad wanted to give us assurance. Whenever any enemy is going to attack you 
always you can think all our battalion of force battalion force are there full battalion force are there they are going to save us raghunath das gosavi told us samantam atulam you know samantam atulam when you are feeling disturbance due to tremendous material karma when you are feeling problem different kind of enemies going to attack you because you wanted to establish the siddhant of vichar of the prabhupad then let them attack and let us see the situation let us see the situation bhagwan is there or not when whole society wanted to act took decision in dhaka do we cannot give any cooperation to goriamat prabhupad wanted to say okay you drink the water of buri ganga and go on speaking about the absolute truth let me see nitananda and goranga they are or not raghunath das writing so many thing but we are not paying attention Asa chista kasto prado bikato pasa viliri ho praka mam kamadi prakato patho pati vetti karai gale badhya hanne ahamiti bakavit bap mapagane bakavit बतमपगने कुरु तं फुत्कार नवतिश यथा तम मन इत वेन दिस कैंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम कैन कम ऑल डिफरेंट एनिमीज ऑल अराउंड यू कामा क्रोधा लोभा मोह एंड डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आज ओके आउटसाइड एनिमीज दे आर ऑल्सो इन दिस कैंड ऑफ फॉर्म है सम सोसाइटी कैन कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्रोधा same thing coming na kama krodha lova mohade is coming only we will have to call the battalion of nitananda prabhu guru vaishnava nitananda prabhu all battalion full battalion force they can say it is a commitment of nitananda it is a commitment of prabhupad for whom your life is totally dedicated that absolute can come down without any delay for your protection don't fear anyway we will have to do something for those poor people thousands of people they are being cheated so we will have to do something for them before leaving our body because we are from gauriya mart Chaitanya Mahat. This is the instruction of Ravana Das Goswami, but we forget, we fear. I don't know why. I wanted to speak something. Some of you can realize what I mean to do. Wanted to say. I'm sure that you realize by now. Sixty thousand rupees books I printed. i was bound to print write and print edit everything done by me by the order of the leaders of our sharshad gauriya vishab society 60000 rupees books finally what happens book was printed i already bring but before distribution the fear the fear they have no inclination they have no inclination so finally what happened you know 60000 ru 160000 and uh, you know rupees of books all were thrown inside ganga like the opponent party of propat the propat the opponent party of the the propat they collected all the writings and diaries and writings of propat नयनानंद दास बाबाजी महाराज ऑल ग्रेट ग्रेट वैष्णवास सीनियर डिबोडीज दे टोल्ड मी सिक्रेटली माई दे सिक्रेटली सो आई हैव नॉलेज 
They say all the papers and documents of Prabhupada were taken by opponent party and thrown, thrown into Ganga. Thrown into Ganga. That is our love. That is our love for Prabhupada. Jai Prabhupada, Jai Prabhupada. That is our love for Prabhupada. Eh? Eh? That is our love for Prabhupada. Even one freedom fighter is ready to give uh, life for motherland, but we are not ready to give our life. We are not dedicated soul. How we can prove? How we can establish accurate Siddhanta? If I don't say, Maharaj, you are wrong. Anyway, I will have to speak. You, it is wrong, Siddhanta is right. If somebody is going to attack me, okay, let me attack. Bhaman Gusima wrote one book, one from Calcutta University. Some scholar, they got doctorate and vice chancellor, chancellor of the university. They approved that doctorate thesis on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was killed by pandas. By pandas. How Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was killed by pandas. Bhamanga Srimaj wanted to give answer. When about cow slaughter, our Keshav Goswami wrote one article. I don't know. After 50 years or 40 years, I came to know. But the writing, I don't know. When he wrote, where he wrote, I don't know. How miracle. False Siddhanta should be rectified. It is the instruction of Prabhupada. Direct instruction of Prabhupada. False Siddhanta should be rectified. For the past 50 years, different kind of Bhakti Muntaku writing within these 100, 150 years in his article Bhakti Muntaku writings. Different kind of ism, different kind of ism, different kind of end of Bada appeared in the field of Gauriya Vaishnava line and now you see the situation. We cannot allow wrong Siddhanta to go on, go on, go on, to corrupt the whole world. Even our next generations, they also can get corrupted. Like Hiroshima Nakasaki. When atom bomb was charged there long ago, 80 years back. But still today, new, new generation, they are crippled. They are brainless, they are paralytic. So, what is your opinion? What is your opinion? You like to, you like to go the situation uh, this way, intact way? Okay, let them go and don't mistake. Let them kill the whole world. Let them preach the wrong Siddhanta overload the world. Let them do what it concerns to us. Are you? What it concerns to us mean? Hey, you have no relationship with Nityananda, no relationship with Guru Varga. Only and only Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. He wrote one protest note. For the past 50 years, in I am not speaking about Sahajiya. Guru Padma used to say, even in our Sampadai, more than, more than those Sahajiyas. More than those Sahajiyas. So long we thought we are not Sahajiya, but we are more than Sahajiyas. They wanted to mispreach, wrong representation of philosophy. They are not following their Guru Varga. Mathematically, I can prove mathematically. No father in the world can stop me. I can mathematically prove they are against their Guru Varga. That's why they are preaching this kind of Siddhanta Vichar. So Calcutta University Chancellor approved that thesis. That doesn't mean he is a great devotee. We have our right to defend. How dare they can speak Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was killed by pandas? Who can be a? You can be a? If somebody is going to insult, abuse your mother, 
from whom you took birth? Can you keep silence? First of all, you give answer to me. You can keep silence. That Bhaman Goswami Maharaj wrote one book about disappearance of Mahaprabhu and wanted to throw it in front of the chancellor, idiot chancellor, rascal chancellor in front of him. Still today, they are unable to give answer to us. So time to time, some this kind of wrong Siddhanta can appear. It is a arrangement of Maya and Kali. That doesn't mean you can fear, you can go back. A coward dies many times before his actual death. A coward dies many times before his actual death. Be careful about that. Anyhow, we'll have to establish their wrong Siddhanta Vichar, not because they have the money power, so they can purchase the whole world, they can purchase Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they can purchase Nityananda Prabhu, they can purchase the Prabhupada, not that. I cannot allow it to so happen. They can purchase by money power. I know. For the coming 200 years, if, this, if, they, if they sit in one place and go on spending money, they have so many, so huge amount of money, still they cannot spend. External infrastructure of devotional practice is not devotion. External infrastructure of devotional practice and organization Management is not devotion. This is not devotion. This is not devotion. This is not devotion. Even one penny sacrifice they cannot do. If they find it is in favor of the Prabhupada, they cannot do. And some idiot and rascals from, you know, the foolish people, they are going to cooperate with them. They are going to cooperate with them. Foolish people. They cannot come to me. They cannot come to me. They cannot realize my heart. This way, our Guru Bhargava, if I show you one by one, then I can cut your Siddhanta that our Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is foolish enough to approve. No! He was barrister, so clever. He know how to cheat you because you want to be cheated. You don't know the position of Goswami Maharaj. How clever they are. How should for Seva or Prabhupada they are clever. Do you think they are foolish? Eh? Do you think they are foolish? Madhu Goswami is foolish? Bharti Maharaj was also clever to do something at least. Something better than nothing they wanted to do. But I think this way not possible. This way not possible. Because Prabhupada told, if we are failure to protect our Bani Vaibhav, then the whole Sampradaya can get destroyed. But it's not possible because Prabhupada told, Bhakti Vinod Dara can never be stopped. If you go through the history of each and every country, there you can find some or other kind of evolution was there after that the change came. Who is that man to bring evolution? Who is that man? The name of that super personality is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, the Prabhupada. He wanted to bring about a total revolution in the devotional world. And we wanted to bring a great revolution against the Prabhupada. That is our success. That is our success. Srila Prabhupada wanted to bring about a total revolution in the devotional world. And we wanted to bring evolution against the Prabhupada. To bring back the old things. All same wrong sajiyas, all wrong siddhanta, uh, you know, no anugatapa, guru bhargava. People are so foolish. 
they are listen just to, to take thorough information about what i am speaking why not why they are listen to us to take thorough information about what i want to say without evolution liberty cannot come without evolution liberty can never come in our life what liberty what liberty eternal liberty without evolution eternal liberty can never come in our life so it is my prayer unto the lotus feet of all devotees without any group and society ladies or gents caste or caste or country it is my general appeal unto the lotus feet of all devotees or half devotees or hoyach and hoyben those who are supposed to become devotee in future and to lotus feet everybody it is my request you try to take thorough information thorough information because this is the age of advertisement one useless thing kesab goshi ma used to say one useless product can get hot market like hot cake because of preaching one waste product very very it is garbage can get huge in our demand our society is so foolish so foolish very very bad thing product in the market it can get a big demand because of your mispreaching that is the situation i am sure about it today or tomorrow or after 10 years or 20 years people can start realizing they already started realizing my energy can never go in vain all my blood can never go in vain i am sure they started realizing their acharyas misinformed them due to their sinus they cannot rectify themselves i told many time at least prakashananda was successful to declare in front of mahaprabhu well our previous acharyas was wrong doing this you what you were speaking all right but that much power at present any acharya cannot have any acharya they have no power to speak because if they speak they can lose all their honor position everything like stool and urine nobody can speak nobody can vouch in favor of me nobody can stand beside me and say that is a right siddhant cannot speak let them do but how long absolute truth can never be killed by strangling the throat proper told absolute truth is absolute truth it can never be destroyed today or tomorrow it can be exposed we keep hope that nitanand babu can cooperate with us 100% what to speak about cooperate all the time nitanand babu is there with me with us all guru bargo with us brahma ji told narad ji maharaj after speaking bhagavat tattva vigyan told my son you go on preaching in a elaborated way tame tat bipuli kuru even we are not going to pay attention to the order of our adi kavi adi guru brahma even we are going to ignore because brahma told he had to preach in such a way so that people can develop actual bhakti and to the lotus feet of bhagwan you have to preach in such a way not in your own way not in your own way you have to preach in such a way so that bhagwan can become very satisfied not in your own way who care man your own philosophy all wrong philosophy your non philosophy you want to preach in your own way bhakti mr tagore thinking procedure is one and the same 
one and the same. First of all, you will have to get established in Harinam. That means you will have to become Namacharya. You don't understand. All Acharyas, those who are acting as Acharyas, they must be, they must be, if not, they should leave the post. They must be genuine Namacharya. After that, they can go for preaching. Not before that. And if he is genuine Acharya, Namacharya, but we reserve the name Namacharya only for Haridas Thakur. But truly is Siddhanta, scientific Siddhanta, that all Acharya should be Namacharya. Bhakti Thakur told, if he himself is not established in Nam, he is not Namacharya. He has no power of Harinam. He cannot speak about the glorification of Harinam in front of public properly because he himself he himself don't have. Bhakti Vedagur speaking, I can show you from Gauriya. All your preaching, all your endeavor, all your spending money, all can come to a flop end until and unless you are successful to convince people about the glorification of Harina. After that, if you are successful, to convince people about the glorification of Harinam, and the great glories of Harinam, and you yourself are established, then automatically preaching can be done. All Siddhanta Bishan, they can hear. Bhakti Vrata was speaking. All your endeavor, all your effort, everything can come to a flop end. You cannot get exact result of your Exact result of preaching means Krishna Bhakti. They should realize the Prabhupada. Prabhupada can never curse. Be careful. If we are not speaking about the Prabhupada, Prabhupada surely cannot curse us. But Prabhupada can feel pain. I heard from very, very senior devotees, very, very senior devotees, a left body. He told Maharaj, even at the time of Prabhupada, he used to say, Nobody likes to speak what I say. Nobody likes to speak what I say. Nobody mean most of the Guru Bhargava they used to. Nobody mean maximum people. They like to represent their philosophy in a very testy way. So that people can. So those newspaper men, those businessmen, those who are originally businessmen, their mind never get rectified. I don't know why. Originally, if they're businessmen, their mentality becomes like businessmen. They're thinking which way I can represent the fact so that people can accept it. It is one kind of advertisement. But Prabhupada never accepted this way. The Prabhupada. In Bengali, we say, like the newspaper man, businessman, they are always representing the facts and figure in such a way, maximum people can buy their paper, I mean, accept. But Aprakita Satya Vastu cannot be represented that way. It is not subject to your amendment and rectification. Material rules and regulation in the legis legislative assembly that can be rectified somehow, it can be rectified because of your vote. But the absolute truth is not dependent upon your vote. How many people are going to subscribe, vote? Absolute truth is not depending upon it. Absolute is always absolute. It never depends upon your vote, voting power. But those you can go through the life history, those who are originally there were they previously they were businessmen. Some of them already told to me, I am in Basasan, I am not speaking lie. Some of them already told, somebody one or two. They told me, Maharaj, whenever, wherever I go, whenever I think anything, first of all, my mind think long ago, not today, long ago they told me. I remember all, each and every point, each and every point I can remember by the mercy. Bhagavan. 
They told me, Maharaj, wherever I can see anything, uh, whatever thing, wherever I go, I think about what net profit I can get. Like the case of Baman Goswami Maharaj. He went in 24 Pargunas, one place in Bengal. They are very poor people. Poor people, they are all around. Sevak speaking to Baman Maharaj. We cannot come here anymore, Maharaj. Huh? Baman Maharaj, why? But, uh, no, 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 no. They, we cannot get any, any, they are not giving a donation, nothing. At the same time, what's the utility? People also not ready to, you know, you know, accept. Bhavan Goswami told, you see, you cannot go for pitching. You cannot go for pitching. Until and unless you can realize our pitching and bhajan same, till then, you should stay at temple. Don't go. And our Keshav Goswami told to some of his disciples, he was just sitting in front of his bhajan kuti someday in veranda and preaching party, one preaching party coming back, they're paying Dandava to Keshav Goswami. Guru Maharaj, Dandava, 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 Dandava. Ah, you see the result of preaching. Nice, good or bad? Oh, Maharaj, so nice preaching. So nice preaching. Everybody clapping. Everybody inviting us again. When you can come next? When you can come? We are waiting for you. Kesu Goswami has told, surely your preaching was not perfect. Huh? No, no, no. They call us. They call us repeatedly. You come, come. Uh, you are invited. Oh, well, Kesu Goswami has told, that is why I am speaking, surely your preaching was not good. I mean, you could not speak about that absolute truth, absolute way, like Prabhupada. That's why public wanted to subscribe you. But absolute truth is such a truth. Absolute truth. When you speak, most of the people can go against you. But that doesn't mean they can start massive agitation by money power, manpower. They can, they can, you know, catch the throat, catch the throat of that absolute truth and strangle it down, like to trap and kill. Not that. Absolute truth is not such a cheap thing that by agitation, public agitation, by money power, it can be stopped. Popa told.